Be honest, how long have you been buying chicken stock? I know, I know, I'm guilty too and I should know better. Here's the deal, I'm gonna show you how to make chicken stock two ways. This is super easy and far surpasses anything you will buy in the grocery store. And then you're gonna say to yourself, why haven't I been doing this all along? Grab your aprons, let's cook. guys, I'm Shireen, welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making homemade chicken stock from scratch. First, we're gonna make a chicken broth in a stock pot on the stove. So I'm gonna show you how to make your classic chicken noodle soups with one pot with a whole chicken. And then we're gonna also do it in the instant pot, which is your pressure cooker. Genius marketing name that they gave it, instant pot. It now makes people not afraid of it. So smart. Chefs across the globe use pressure cookers. Why? Because it expedites the time and it delivers bold, flavorful food. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a roasted chicken stock in our pressure cooker. But first to get started, we, we're gonna prep our mirepoix. So carrots, onion, celery, if you have fennel, if you have parsnips, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I almost lost that. It really doesn't matter because it's just gonna deliver great flavor, but save your carcasses. So your chicken carcass, always save them. That's free stock. So the first thing you wanna do is clean all of your vegetables really well. No sand and dirt in our stock or broth. And peel and remove the skin from the onions. There's no flavor in that skin. Get rid of it. it doesn't belong in the stock. And then we're gonna snip and trim our celery and carrots. Clean vegetables equals clean, flavorful stock and broth. Even the ends, they could contain a little bit of sand. We're gonna get rid of them. And then just chop this into large pieces. We just want it to fit into the bottom of our stock pot and insert of our pressure cooker. And I actually don't peel the carrots because I like the flavor. See that? That's flavor right there. To the bottom of an eight quart stock pot. We have one whole chicken. So by cooking the chicken with the meat, we're producing a chicken broth along with our mirepoix and a bundle of parsley. Here's our sachet de piece. Inside we have some bay leaves, peppercorns, and thyme. You just want to tie it up and toss it right into the pot. It just makes it easier to fetch out. Now we're going to add some cold water. So we're going to add about 16 cups of cold water, filling about two thirds of the way. Turn it on high, bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer. After one hour, that chicken is fully cooked. We're gonna remove the chicken, let it cool, shred that meat off the bone, but wait. That is not flavorful enough to make a soup. Now we're gonna turn it into a stock. Return those bones, making it a stock, and we're gonna let it simmer for three more hours with the lid on, that way that liquid doesn't evaporate. Four hours later, there's your beautiful chicken broth, now finished as a chicken stock. Store it into clear sized containers that store into your refrigerator for one week or into your freezer for several months. Cool it first. Remember I said save your chicken carcasses? Here we have a roasted chicken carcass into the bottom insert of your pressure cooker along with that mirepoix, carrots, onion, celery, some thyme, two bay leaves, and half a tablespoon of peppercorns. So this is the same ingredients that we added in our sachet de pisse. Now we're gonna add some Italian flat leaf parsley right into the bottom of the pot and also our cold water. So very important in your pressure cooker. Do not exceed the two-third line of your pressure cooker. In goes the water, add the lid. Now we're gonna set it for 90 minutes. Then after 90 minutes, let it naturally release. Strain your chicken broth or chicken stock last night. Guess what I did? I made bone broth. What did I forget to do? I forgot to add the bowl beneath the strainer and I lost all my bone broth. Don't do that guys, please don't do that. Now you have beautiful stock on the right and chicken broth on the left. 
If you notice, we cooked that chicken with the skin on and we have some fat at the top, but we can fix that. You're gonna place it into the refrigerator where that fat will congeal. After it congeals, you're just gonna remove it with a spoon and get rid of it. Now you have beautiful stock and broth for your soups, stews, braises, and rice, even risotto. So the lighter of the two is the chicken broth. Oh my gosh, it's really flavorful. Now you always wanna season it with salt as soon as you're done cooking. And the chicken stock, it's so good. They're both equally delicious. It just all depends on the preparation that you want. But always salt it, like get in there, a nice hit of salt with kosher salt. Mm. Mm. It's really so good. Mm. So there you have it. What have we learned today? Chicken stock versus chicken broth. Your chicken stock delivers a bold, more pronounced flavor, especially with those roasted bones, and your chicken broth is a little more of a delicate flavor, but it's really great to know that you can make a soup in one pot, and the reason why you wanna make it is because it's just better. And now you know you can make chicken stock in your pressure cooker, and an hour and a half, mm-hmm, you can do it. So if you like this video or you learned something, give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment box below. Be sure to subscribe. I do roll out a new homemade made easy recipe video each week. And if you wanna check out my seafood enchiladas, you can click this recipe video link right here and I'll meet you over there.